you know, you can't sit down because there's just guitars leaning against all the furniture. Yeah. Well, each guitar kind of, uh, it, 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 you pick one up and something comes out of it, you know, and you're like, wow, all right. And then you grab yeah. a different one. They just I was doing Yesterday, I was, I was just pulling guitars out looking for that one, you know, and I've been playing this new Gibson V I got that is just amazing and it's a fucking rhythm. I saw thing. that thing. It's great. But then uh, today I was pull yesterday I was pulling out the Les Pauls and like these are great but they're just not that one. But then I pulled out my 1984 Yamaha SVG 3000. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the, one. That's the best guitar. I own. Is that that's like the Dave Medicetti one? Yeah, exactly. What color is yours? Like uh, like ivory, like aged white. Oh man, how long have you had that? About a few. Maybe about six months ago or something. It's showroom new. It's barely got a scuff on it. No buckle rash, nothing. It's got, all, it's, it's got the abalone inlay all, all the way. Oh, my God. What year is it? 84. 84, the year I graduated. The year Bonded by Blood came out. Yeah. And, uh, no, 85. So it's even a year older. Wow. And, uh, it's just the most in-tune sounding guitar. It just is perfect. But the stock pickups were so clean, like no gain at all. Like yeah. jazz guys covet them. So EMG made me a set of passives that look like the stock ones because I didn't want to change the look. So it sounds amazing. Wow. Where'd you get that? eBay? Um, no, uh, a guitar store I follow on Instagram up in Seattle. Shit. What a score. Yeah, I bought it that the second I, I commented. How much? Mine. Uh, how know. much was it? 3000 that ain't bad, man. I was no. talking to, I had Dave Medichetti on, on the podcast and we went through the history of his SGs, you know, uh, Yamaha SGs and he told all about it. Cause you know, I, I just remember he just played that black one with the, the 3000 fully, you know, all the abalone and everything. And it was just unbelievable. Well, the first guy I ever saw who had one that made me want one cause his tone was so killer was Thane Rasmussen from Amber Chorus. Oh, wow. He had one back in the old Waldorf days and like, what an amazing guitar. You know, I'm playing this Hondo and I've got this big fucking oversized stainless steel whammy bar and, and you know, it's a cheap, cheap guitar, but I made it killer. And like, he's got this beautiful guitar and it sounded so killer. And uh, this thing's amazing. Just You think that he, you think he had changed pickups on his back then? No, because I mean, they, some of them came with your basic PAFs in it and stuff. Like the one I got, didn't but it, it's just so good wow and the color oh, cool it. fucking ah i put the other guitars away now you <laughs> were you playing fernandez a while like kirk hammett was no so I'll, I'll, the other thing i was going to say my svg 3000 is better than kirk's <laughs> oh oh shit he's got one yeah, well, we both love him, and he sent me a picture a long time ago, like a couple of years back, and like, look what I just scored, dude, and like a really sweet black one, and then I sent him mine, and like, I got, look at mine, I sent him a picture of the back. It's like no one's ever played it with a belt buckle on, you know, it's like perfect. Oh, my God. I wish I could see it. You got it right there? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, oh, my God. Oh, dude, that thing is killer. There's not even a fucking... A mark on it. Dude, look at that thing. So well there, dude. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Not a scratch. The headstock doesn't have a single chip on it, although it might since I just tagged it on the shelf. Oh my God. Oh. That thing is beautiful, dude. Yeah, it's fucking great. <laughs> oh my God, that is a score. <laughs> 